Gather round me, young lovers, and I will tell how a match struck in heaven can end up in hell. The name of the novel comes from a letter that Scott Fitzgerald wrote to their daughter, Scotty, about her mom, and it said, the insane are mere guests on earth, eternal strangers, forever knocking on closed doors, carrying around broken decalogues, which they cannot read. And I think what this means is a broken decalogue that they cannot read is like rules for life. You know, how to go through this life. And they can't, yeah, law. And, you know, they, they just can't obey those rules because it's too hard to understand them. There's a way in which we're all mere guests on earth and this novel attempts to to kind of look at the the correlations and differences between sanity and insanity and you know who's crazy and who's not and what does that even mean so I have a big preoccupation here with um, with women and madness, and with creativity and madness, and um, this just gives me a chance to to look at these issues through the eyes of some really interesting characters. The core of the story has to do with um, something that really happened, which was in 1948. There was in Asheville, North Carolina maybe the most horrific hospital fire that's ever happened in this country. And Zelda Fitzgerald herself was a patient there then, and she was one of nine women who perished in the fire because they were in a locked ward. That stuck in my mind, and, and I've really written a novel leading up to that event with a cast of characters both imagined and real. I was interested too because both my parents suffered from mental illness and were several times in hospitals, both of them. And uh, my father was actually at Highland, so I went to Highland Hospital first then in the late 50s. And then much later, my son Josh was at Highland Hospital himself for about three years. He really went to Highland instead of college. and. Uh, he was very ill, uh, very schizophrenic. This is me and Josh. But Josh was just this totally average, adorable child. There he is on his dirt bike. And he was a skateboarder and a, wow. you know, camper and a Boy Scout and all this stuff. He started playing piano and he's a very, very bright, very creative boy. And then when he was um, at the Berkeley College of Music, the year he was 17, between his uh, junior year and senior year, was when he suddenly just was the onset of his schizophrenia, which was horrible, which was so severe, and he had to come home in a straitjacket. This right here, all of this stuff is the original first draft of this novel. And this is how I write, and I really cannot write straight on. I have to, I have to do it. I have to do it longhand, and I, I don't know quite why. I guess it's, it's, I guess it's sort of magical thinking. It seems like it needs to be physical, it needs to be me. It's like she's telling me the story in my ear, and I just write it out. All my life, I've been a writer of place, you know, and a lover of people, and suddenly this story became sort of part of my story, and it um, became very urgent. To me, even though it's taken me a long time to write it, it's um, it's a book that's been waiting for me to write.